Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today, we, in this video, we are going to solve our second problem in seventh problem. Okay, factorize x cube minus 3x square minus 9x minus 5. Okay, first write the given polynomial p of x and now identify the constant term that means without any x. So, here what is the constant term? constant term is minus 5 right so now write the factors for this 5 minus 5 sorry factors of minus 5 okay so how you will get minus 5 students 1 into 5 5 but here we have to get minus 5 so minus 1 into 5 or otherwise 1 into minus 5 right so, factors of minus 5 I can write minus 1 plus 1 minus 5 plus 5, right? Or plus or minus 1 or plus or minus 5, okay? You can write like this, factors of minus 5, this one. Now, we have to check the factors of, among the factors of 5, okay? Among the factors of 5, if any number is factor of this given polynomial or not. When factors number p of x ki factor of leda ani check chayali. Okay? So for that p of minus 1 I am taking and write minus 1 in the place of x minus 1 cube minus 3 into minus 1 whole square. So Factor means we have to get the remainder 0, right? Minus whole power odd number will be minus 1. Minus whole power even number will be plus 1. Minus into minus plus minus 5. And here minus 1, minus into plus, minus 3, plus 9, minus 5. So here all are negative except plus 9. So add those numbers 5, 3, 8, 8 plus 1, 9. So, minus 9 plus 9. So, the result will be 0. So, P of minus 1 is the remainder. That remainder we got 0. So, since the remainder is 0, x plus 1 is, therefore, x plus 1 is a factor of given polynomial. x plus 1 is a factor of P of x based on factor theorem. If P of A is 0, then X minus A is a factor. And if P of minus A is 0, then X plus A is a factor. Okay. So, here, what is the degree here we have for this polynomial 3? So, we have to find out how many factors? 3 factors. So, 1 factor already we find out that is X plus 1. And the remaining 2 factors we have to find out by using division of polynomial. So, let us divide this. Now we have to divide the polynomial with x plus 1 to get the other factors. Okay. So for that the first term in the quotient. For first term in the quotient we have to take first term in the dividend and the first term in the divisor. We have to divide. x cube by x will be x square. So write that in quotient. x square. Now multiply x into x square x cube 1 into x square x square plus x square now just change the signs okay here minus minus now plus x cube minus x cube will get cancelled just like normal division we are subtracting for that only we will we'll change the signs minus 3 minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 value will be minus 4 right so this is minus 4 x square and next term write down this will be minus 9x okay so for the second term in the quotient take the first term here that is minus 4x square and the first term here x and x will get cancelled so it will be minus 4x right so write minus 4x here x into x x square so minus 4x square 
plus into minus minus 1 into 4x 4x itself now just change the symbols plus plus cancel minus and plus same number will get cancelled now minus 9 plus 4 it is minus 5 only now so minus 5x and next next number down okay now for the next term in the quotient take the first term here minus 5x and here first term x so it will be minus 5 so write it in the quotient minus 5 okay so now just multiply x into 5 minus 5x plus into minus minus 1 into 5 5 now again change the symbols minus plus same number cancel okay minus plus same number cancel so here the reminder will be 0 so what is the quotient we got x square minus 4x minus 5 is the quotient so now by using division algorithm we can write dividend x square minus 4x minus 5 is equal to divisor x plus 1 into quotient x square minus 4x minus 5 plus reminder reminder is 0 okay so i told you in the first problem also 2 3 is a 6 and reminder will get 0 means 6 is equal to this 2 into 3 right similarly here also dividend equals to divisor into quotient so now here again we have x square minus 4x minus 5 so we have to factorize that for that take the coefficient of x square 1 and constant term minus 5 so if you multiply we will get minus 5 only so coefficient of x minus 4 factors of minus 5 already we have seen 1 minus 5 or minus 1 plus 5 we have to get minus 4 after adding or subtracting this 1 minus 5 means minus 4 only now right so i can write minus 4x as minus 5x plus x okay minus 5 now x square means x into x so 1x i took out and the remaining x minus 5 okay x into 5 5x and now take common one x minus 5 so now here x minus 5 and here also x minus 5 take it out the remaining will be x plus 1 so what are the factors to this x square minus 4x minus 5 we can write x minus 5 into x plus 1 so now the factors of given polynomial p of x is equal to 1 is x plus 1 and x minus 5 into x plus 1 okay we can write x plus 1 whole square into x minus 5 also okay so these are the factors for the given polynomial i think you understand these problems students please subscribe to my channel and please like this video and share with your friends thank you for watching